I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints. The focus is to make quick decisions during the Charleston. If you're a beginner, give yourself four minutes for each sprint. If you are an intermediate player, give yourself three minutes. And if you're advanced, give yourself two minutes. Push yourself to make decisions in under two minutes. When you can do that, you'll be able to play comfortably online or maybe even play in a tournament. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with stopwatch app. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. I'm going to alternate between dealer, non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Okay, we've got lots of bams, six, seven there. Six, seven, eight, nine. I'd focus on probably six, seven, eight, nine consecutive run. Probably not use that. Here we have two, three. That's kind of risky. Six, seven, eight, nine. Let's put a seven in there. There's a seven and a nine. We have tiles we can pass without worry. We can gather. Nine, eight, eight, nine, eight, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, nines, two. Let's see, six, seven, eight, nine is a potential in here. So let's pass those three there. Six, six, seven, eight, nine, east and four. Six, seven, eight, nine. If we can get a five bam, we have a hand there. Let's play a gap hand. Here's a flower though. Six, seven, eight. Six, ooh, that's a little risky there. Six, seven, eight. Let's pass a white dragon. Hoping for a five bam. Let's pass these three. That green dragon, even though it matches, really not helpful there. We have three tiles for optional cross. Lap. Okay. Six, seven, eight is what I would play. Joker bait discards. Six, seven, eight, one suit Kong. Now, I would hold that for as long as possible because if we can get a five bam, I'd play the first consecutive hand. It's a gap hand. So I would hold this. If that five bam doesn't show up, we could do six, seven, eight Kongs. I would discard these. Reds, that's where I would start. Red, three, we could maybe do three, six, nine, mix suit, red. Or maybe we could do like numbers with twos or even like numbers with fours. Three, six, six, nine, three, six. Let's let, we could even do th like now, 
like numbers with threes. Let's let the three go. Okay, here we have a six south, seven dot. Not helpful. We can pass those. Flower. Okay, so red, flower. Not helpful. Three, six, six, nine. Let's give up on the four, one of each suit. Six, one, east. I think I would continue. We got a six. I would focus on three, six, nine in mixed suits with the dragon. So let's pass these three. Keeper, pass. Maybe two, nine, dragon. Three is not really helpful, but maybe we could do, I don't think so. I'd give it up. I'd rather pass fully for optional cross. No keepers. Lap. Okay. So here, three, six, dragon, six, nine. No gaps. Three, six. I would keep it. We could play three, six, three, six, nine. Three, six, nine, pair hand, maybe. Two discards. I'd say that was a pretty good result for three, six, nine. Two, four, six, eight, maybe a year hand. It's north, south. Let's pass these three. We'll focus on one suit or a year hand. Whoa, six. I think two, four, six, eight is what I would focus on. Two, four, six, eight, and one suit. Let's pass these three. Six. We have tiles we can pass right here. Whoops, uh-oh. Better fingers. Okay, flower. We may or may not be able to use that white dragon. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna pass it. Two, four, six, eight. It's better than passing a flower. We got twos. Oh my goodness, twos. Five white. Two, four, six, eight. I think I would focus on two, four, six, eight, and one suit. That's very risky. Oh my gosh, these white dragons. Okay, red dragon. I would keep that. Pass two for optional. No white dragon. Too many going around. Lap. Oh, that was hard. Those white dragons. But look, we have two, four, six, eight, and one suit. Two, four, six, eight. Or we could do two, four, six, eight, dragon. Or we could do two, four, six, eight, dragon, or flowers. I would just keep all that and pass or discard those. Ooh, two, four, six, eight. The white dragons. They were kind of shocking. Okay, let's check out the timing. Sometimes you get passes that can fluster you. This exercise will help you gain confidence making quick decisions when you get those wacky passes. Let's see how things went with time.
if you focus on the strength of the hand and gather tiles supporting the strength of the hand, whether that be around the multiples or around the predominant pattern, you should be able to make quick decisions on the remaining tiles. Avoid the paralysis of analysis by making quick decisions and use this exercise at home between games to practice. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.